Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, install and set up the Exodus uh, multi currency wallet for all of your cryptocurrency needs. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so uh, I did a previous video on where I downloaded and verified the uh, installation, the installer. Uh, we uh, had a signed file from the developer that we checked and uh, he provided some uh, 256 hashes which we verified so I encourage you please to go through that step of the verification that's pretty much why I started this channel to show everyone how this verification works it's a very important step that a lot of people skip so uh, let's check it out here so uh, I have installed the or I'm sorry I've downloaded the installer and I verified it we have it in this folder here on in software Exodus here's the installer and then uh, these were the hash keys that I downloaded uh, I downloaded this file I verified the signature I uh, installed the public key of the developer in my key ring and then uh, we went to the SHA sum checker and verified the hash for the Windows version so please check that out on a previous video because I don't just install software on my computer willy-nilly and neither should you. So but now that we've done all that we're good to go let's install. Okay the Exodus installer is running. Okay and lo and behold there it is uh, I like to pin the taskbar which I've done previously I'm gonna get rid of this thing hopefully this is gonna work every now and then when you uninstall and reinstall something your uh, uh, taskbar pin doesn't work but in this case no it worked just fine so uh, here is the Exodus interface uh, it's pretty cool We've got this sort of home page where it has all of the different cryptocurrencies that you can store in this wallet. And uh, it allows you to restore from backup. This is our first run, so we don't have any Exodus backups yet. And uh, you can see here uh, there's all the different wallets that you can use. Uh, one of the interesting things about this cryptocurrency wallet is it doesn't force you to uh, create a wallet and uh, enter a password on first run which is what most of them do and that can be a little bit daunting to a first-time user so this software it just uh, shows up has this beautiful interface and then we get into the nitty-gritty when we start to actually put cryptocurrency into the wallet so I'm gonna take you through that so and also down here in help uh, they have a great little help section where uh, you can get a lot of your questions answered. Uh, very nice. And uh, Money Safe is a good one here. We want full privacy. Uh, I'm going to go through all this. Uh, so, But I just want to dive in and show you how to get some uh, cryptocurrency in here. So I'm going to go over here to my phone. And I'm going to go to Coinbase. And I'm gonna buy some cryptocurrency okay so let's go to Bitcoin and let's buy 50 Bitcoin okay there it goes and let's buy uh, 50 ETH, ETH. This is just for demonstration purposes. I just want to show you how you get money in and out of this wallet. Okay, and uh, we got another alert there. So uh, Coinbase is a great app. I have some videos on how to set up Coinbase. And we also want to always set up the two-factor authentication on Coinbase. So I have a great video on how to do that as well. So now we want to move some of this ETH into our wallet. Uh, let's start with the ETH and then we'll do the Bitcoin. 
So we just go over here to receive in our Exodus wallet. And then we've got this QR code here. So um, if you'll notice up here in the corner, there's a little uh, paper airplane. That's our send. I'm going to tap that. Okay, and I'm going to send the max out. I would like to send the max out. Oh, maybe it's not available yet, huh? It says it's in there. Hmm. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here, guys. Let's try the Bitcoin. No. Ah, there it goes. Yay, the Bitcoin worked. I'm sure the ETH will work as soon as we uh, get done with this. Just a little bit. So we're going to do receive for the Bitcoin. And uh, so, as you can see, I'm sending the max amount of Bitcoin that's in there. I'm going to click send. Now it wants the address. Over here in the corner, there's this little icon. And I'm going to tap that. And it wants me to scan. All right, so let's scan this QR code. And you'll notice that the receive address goes in there. Now, I like to do this because uh, if you mistype this address, you're in big trouble. And even if you cut and paste, uh, sometimes you might drop the first or last character when you're cutting and pasting. These QR codes give you, uh, you know, a really good, solid, reliable way to, to uh, enter Bitcoin addresses. All right, here, and I'm going to put uh, Exodus test just for my own edification and yours as well and we're gonna click uh, tap send okay and now that cleaned out the Bitcoin in my uh, okay and it might take a little while for this uh, Bitcoin to show up in Exodus but that's fine we all uh, realize that these things take time while we're waiting, why don't we just do the ETH? See if we can do that. So we'll do ETH here. We're going to tap our uh, little paper airplane. Use Max. There, the ETH is ready now. We'll tap Send. Oh, we just got the alert that we sent the Bitcoin, and we just got a money sound that we got uh, money inside the wallet. Uh, now, I, uh, I was wondering how it handles different uh, cryptocurrencies in the same wallet. Let's see what happens when we put two different cryptocurrencies in their wallet and see is it two backups, one backup. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to click send, tap, send. <laughs> All right, over on ETH, I'm going to uh, click receive. And uh, over here, I'm going to tap the icon. Let's tap that guy. And let's scan the QR code for the ETH address. And we'll put this as our, oops, <laughs> I gotta tap this. Let's try our, it's our ETH, Ether, Exodus test. All right, I'm gonna tap send. All right, and then uh, I just cleaned out that. And it looks like the ETH came in really fast. Huh, isn't that cool? All right, so I'm done with the phone. I'm going to exit this X Mirage because it does tend to sort of pop back up on occasion. All right, so now you see that we've got uh, some cryptocurrency in there. And it shows that it's pretty much half and half Bitcoin and ETH. Now, uh, we could exchange between them, but I want what I really want to talk to you about is this backup uh, feature here. So you've got this little alert. Okay. Now, it wants us to create a password. Now, uh, the way I do that, and uh, I, will show, I will show you that as well. Let's, let's launch this guy again. Hopefully, this will connect. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Hey, it was very nice to us this time. Okay, I like to use one password. Now, one password uh, can be set up with a master password and also set to your touch screen so you can get into it easily enough. 
Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to uh, create a new login and I'm going to call this Exodus. And my username is, gosh, I don't know. I don't think I have a username on this, but I'm just going to call it uh, Crypto Dad. Actually, it I it is going to ask me for an email, uh, so uh, sorry about that. I'm going to use this as my uh, email address for this particular wallet. And uh, then I am going to go to password and then uh, password, it, we, we can generate a new password. I'm not going to show you that, although you do know my email. Well, actually, I'll show you and uh, then I'll do a new one. So you'll see here when it generates a password, um, all of these features that you can adjust here, the length, the number of digits, the number of symbols. Uh, we can move the symbols up to three or four out of the 13. And you'll see that the uh, password was adjusted accordingly. So this is a really great way not only to generate secure passwords, but to uh, keep them so you don't forget them. And uh, I highly recommend this app. I'm going to generate it again. Come back here. Okay. <laughs> Save. Now that's going to be a heck of a password to enter, but I'm game. So uh, let's do it, gang. We're going to type our password. Okay, so it's telling me that this password is very strong. Boy, it, it didn't even hide it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Say la vie. I'll have to empty this guy out before I go online with it. But uh, I'll figure out a way around that. Okay, and then uh, the recovery phase here. Um, all wallets do this. This is going to be our seed phrase. I'm going to hit print to make it easy on myself. And uh, let's listen. Ooh, something's printing over there. That's good news. Okay, and then the, the email is going to be the crypto dad. Sorry, it is the crypto dad. All right, and then we'll just click finish. In case I lose access to my computer. So I'm going to go grab that uh, paper that just printed. didn't print so let's see did it uh, I think it probably uh, sent that email in for me mm -hmm. let's check that oh, okay there it is so the Exodus backup link thank you and so we're gonna click this link here 
hopefully. Uh, congratulations, below is our Exodus recovery link. If you need to recover your blockchain assets on a different computer, step-by-step -step instructions, your Exodus backup link. Does it want us to click this? Oh, no it doesn't. Okay, so uh, that would be a way to recover the wallet if you were to uh, have some problems. So uh, we've got our email backup and we've got our 12 word password phrase here. Isn't that cool? Uh, keep this one in a safe place. This is your paper wallet backup. Now, uh, I guess that's the only way. Um, I would think that there'd be a way to do the file. So I would like to have that happen as well without uh, too much ado here. So let's check real quick in their help. How do we back up the file? Well, okay. So I guess that's the only way to do it. Um, hmm. I was thinking that you could actually back up the file, so I don't see that. It's not jumping out at me. Uh, I wanted to take you through all that. But it doesn't seem to be giving me any options for doing that. So, uh, gosh. Okay, well, that's probably the way that this works. I thought that uh, it, at the beginning it said uh, restore from backup. Uh, I think maybe it had something to do with that backup link. Maybe they keep the file for you. I'll have to do some more research. But uh, I will uh, look into this and figure out how you do a file backup, perhaps in another video. But as it stands, uh, we've managed to move our money in there. We've done our first backup link. We've printed our paper wallet and we've set up the email backup link. So uh, we got through quite a bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like my videos, give me a like. And uh, if you'd like to be alerted when I post new videos, click the subscribe link. Thanks again for joining me. Thanks for all your uh, questions and comments. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.